Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to an all new episode of On The Fly. I am your host, Katie DeFeo. Guys, it's the best time of year. It's May. As we all know, it's when our favorite teams battle it out for the NCAA championship in women's lacrosse. But guys, before the NCAA championship, we actually get the conference championships. And this weekend, there's a massive sporting event that everybody in the world is talking about. Dreams will come true this weekend. There will be hugs. There will be celebrations. There will be family being proud of their child. And no, I'm not talking about the NFL draft. I'm talking about the ACC Women's Lacrosse Tournament in South Bend, Indiana, home of the Notre Dame women's lacrosse team. But guys, this weekend, Notre Dame plays host to the entire ACC, but it's a little tricky this year, the format, the way they did it. Um, it's pretty interesting. So next weekend is Selection Sunday. The ACC tournament is actually split into two weekends. And what they did is this weekend, everybody's in South Bend fighting it out to see who's going to make the championship. And then the championship, the following weekend is played at the site of the highest remaining seed. So basically yesterday, Wednesday, April 27th, Pitt played Louisville eight versus nine to see kind of like it's, I guess it's like the play in game um, to see who's going to have to go unfortunately play the North Carolina Tar Heels who are absolutely loaded. Um, one of the best teams we've ever seen. So Pitt won that game. They beat Louisville, sent Louisville packing. Goodbye, Louisville. Great season, Louisville, but the Pitt train continues to roll. Pitt is playing the University of North Carolina on Friday in the quarterfinals of the ACC tournament in South Bend, Indiana. Pitt's had a great season. They are shocking people with how good they are. They're holding their own in the ACC, um, and they've just been a fun team to watch. I don't think they get past North Carolina, the number one overall seed on Friday in the quarterfinals, which is fine. That's not a marker of any failure by them. There's a list of two teams that I think are good enough to beat North Carolina and they're actually in this conference, but they're not Pitt. Unfortunately, they're not Pitt. So Friday we have that. That game at noon this Friday, tomorrow in the quarterfinals. And then at 2.30 we have number four Duke Blue Devils versus the number five Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Guys, I just got back from a trip to Ireland. I'm not going to lie. It was awesome. Uh, I'm feeling very connected to my Irish heritage. I'm five-eighths Irish. Um, humble brag. But that's not going to lift Notre Dame over Duke. I think Duke's a wagon right now. Um, they're really putting the whole country on notice. Duke, obviously, you know, obviously they're in the ACC. They're a good program. They've always been a good team. But this year, I think they've, make, they've made an extra jump. And they're shocking teams on their home field. And they're just having fun. Duke ball. I mean, it's Duke Blue Devil ball this year. They're having a hell of a season. I'm taking Duke in the quarterfinal. 5 p.m., number two, BC versus number seven, Virginia Tech, guys. Um, there's no shot that BC loses. They're heating up toward the end of the season. We just saw that win over Syracuse, um, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but brutal for me as a lifelong Syracuse lacrosse fan. At 7.30 at night, this Friday, the nightcap game, we have number three Syracuse versus number six Virginia. Guys, Cuse could be playing Team USA and I would pick Cuse. I have a blind faith and a blind loyalty to the Syracuse University women's lacrosse team. That's not going anywhere. They're gonna be UVA on that Friday night game. So here's my predictions um, for Sunday, which will be the semifinals. We're gonna have number one, North Carolina versus number four, Duke. I like this matchup. I like this national powerhouse programs within what, 50 miles of each other down in North Carolina. I think it's awesome. Um, I'm excited for that rematch. Duke's not afraid of the number one seed. They're not afraid of North Carolina. We're gonna get Duke's best game in that game, I think. Moving along mid afternoon, we got a 3.30, Sunday, May 1st, if everything goes as planned on Friday, as my plan, as I have planned, we're gonna get the rematch of the century. Guys, I made a bet with my colleague here at the Premier Lacrosse League, Joe Keegan, who's a Boston guy. And don't get me wrong, I'm a Boston girl. Like I'm, I'm Boston through and through. My earliest memories of sports are like Celtics, Red Sox, Patriots, Bruins, like with my dad, like who's from up there, um, as I always tell people, but I'm from Maryland. Believe me, don't get me wrong. I love Boston, but it never, for me, connected to Boston College. But we made a bet that um, that if Cuse won, Joe would have to use Cuse's record in his Twitter name for the rest of the season and keep it updated as Cuse continued to win games. I made my bet that unfortunately if BC won, um, I would have to put a Boston College Eagles sticker on my truck, my black Ford F-150 humble brag. And unfortunately that's what happened. So I actually just now put it on there just today and I have a BC Eagles sticker on my car. I'm driving five hours to Las Vegas this weekend for the NFL draft. So every single person is gonna see, every single person on the road is gonna see kind of the result of that bet, which is tough. Um, it's tough for me, but Anyways, the reason I'm even saying this is because this weekend on Sunday, if everything goes as planned, we get a rematch to that bet. We get Cuse BC. We get Kayla Trainer after a week of just having lost to a team and being able to make adjustments. Granted, the adjustments that these teams are making right now, all these teams, are for Friday's games, not Sunday's games, not any 
you know, you plan for what you have in front of you. So it would be about two days of adjustments for BC, but I think that's the matchup. I think Cuse wins that game. Obviously guys, like I just said, I'm riding for Cuse till the day I die. I think it's Cuse, North Carolina in the ACC Women's Across Championship. And where does that take us? The following weekend to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, sunny Chapel Hill. You have to remember last year's final four, three of the four teams were from this conference. And I think there's actually a high chance that that happens again. Saturday, May 7th, ACC Tournament Championship. I got Cuse UNC, I got Cuse over UNC on UNC's home field. I know it's a shocking pick, but guys, I'm riding for Cuse. I have been all year, I can't leave them now. I will make an episode next week recapping what had been played out of this conference championship. And I will go ahead and also preview next, next weekend's conference tournament championships. But guys, this is all we've got right now um, for the ACC, my picks. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.